Each year, Arkansas farmers face a variety of pest and disease challenges. This summer, fall armyworms began showing up in pastures, lawns, and even some rice fields earlier than normal, while southern rust has been widespread in Arkansas corn and milo. Perry County is kind of a unique situation because our first encounter with the army worms were in the rice. Uh, I had a producer call and it was just like uh, the producers that would call with the pasture calls. Uh, it kind of surprised me. Uh, we went and looked at it and sure enough in some of his uh, areas that were a little bit, uh, there wasn't as much rice in those areas, a little less dense, uh, there was army worms everywhere crawling on the plant. But in that particular field, I didn't feel like it was enough to treat. I thought he was okay. And then probably a week later, we went to a different rice field. He called back, and that was a different story. He had enough that was doing damage. Uh, we lost stand in that rice field at the, in the bottom part of the field. About the 4th of July is when I started getting all the other calls, and it spread to the rest of the county. And since the 4th of July, it's been every day, every week, somebody's had them, you know, spray them once or twice, and just can't get rid of them right now. Extension entomologist Kelly Lofton says this is the worst outbreak he's seen in about four years. This is the second reinfestation we're seeing right now, uh, and it's about a month since the last one, I guess you'd say, month, six weeks. And we're seeing tremendous numbers, you know, uh, 8, 10, 14, 20 per square foot. There's some significant damage, but some of the producers I've talked to have had to spray two to three times already. To, to make their hay crop. Uh, others uh, that have used some of the products with longer residual activity have gotten by with, with fewer treatments. We're kind of fortunate this year that we've had a lot of hay. Uh, we've got a lot of grass in the pastures. Uh, some guys are deciding not to treat this second time because they've got enough hay, they're just gonna let them eat. Uh, others are waiting until it's time to cut hay and getting the hay off the, off the ground. That's helping. Uh, guys with pasture, some have treated once or twice, but uh, their cows are in pretty good shape and they've decided that's probably about all they're going to spray. Southern rust is a disease that affects a variety of crops, especially corn. It appeared earlier than in most years and Lawson says it has been widespread. Uh, the rust was in every field that I had. I don't have a lot of corn in this county, but every field I've got was affected. Uh, even in Conway County, we looked at a few fields over there in Atkins Bottoms that uh, were affected. So if you, if you look at the whole river valley as a whole, uh, every field that I've seen was affected in some way by southern rust. Uh, important decisions were made on fungicide that usually fungicides are not in a, in a guy's budget, but this year they had to pull the trigger on a few fields. Uh, it's very aggressive rust. Uh, it's got to have the environment. Uh, it's got to come in early enough, and that's what happened this year. And if you remember, we had rains. We had over an inch of rain every week for several weeks there in a row. And it was just, it was the perfect situation for that rust. It, it loves the humid, hot weather and a little bit of rain, and it just exploded. Despite this, because growers discovered the rust early and added the expense of treating their fields with fungicides, Lawson expects yield and production to be good. Something about the corn crop is it was uh, pretty cool when it pollinated. And as we look at fields, I think we're going to have one of our better corn crops this year yield-wise. Uh, it looks like it's going to be a very good one. I've started seeing a few yield re uh, reports from Louisiana and southern Arkansas, and they look pretty darn good. 